Hey guys, happy, what is today? Tuesday, I believe, happy Tuesday. I just was standing here by the door and Miggy was here by Grant and he saw me <laughs> with my phone. <laughs> Look at him. He saw me with my phone turned a certain way. He always knows when I have it turned a certain way that I'm gonna start filming. When I have it uh, sideways. And he ran and got his ball. He's so funny. Oh he says, Mom, you have not had to, you have not filmed us in so long. Alright, let me kick this ball. On. Watch out, Max, you're gonna fall off the porch. <clears throat> He's like you haven't had your you haven't had your camera out in so long, Mom. It's kind of windy, so hopefully you guys can hear me. It's really windy, actually. You can see we have a lot of little branches. Oh my goodness! Little branches down throughout the yard. Because we had a, a storm coming. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think he's excited. I've been kicking the ball for him, even though I've been sick. So if you don't know, uh, if you're not on my Facebook page, if you're not, uh, if you don't check our community page here on the YouTube channel, I ended up getting uh, COVID from my husband. Um, he was sick, and then I got. I started feeling terrible. Uh, today is Tuesday, so it wasn't it wasn't this past Sunday, but the Sunday before. So it's been um, nine days now since I started feeling terrible. Um, so yeah, so that's why we've been gone. But I have taken the time still, even being sick. I'm still taking the time to kick the ball for Maggie. So don't think that he's went nine days without the ball being kicked. Um, my husband has too. Um, he's still, so he got sick two weeks ago. I think it's been about two weeks ago. He's still feeling fatigued and kind of crappy. Um, even though we're both testing negative now, but the fatigue has been the killer. The fatigue has been the killer. It's no joke. No joke. Um, I'm still a little adjusted. Um, but, um, and I heard the fatigue can last like weeks afterwards. So it's really been taking a toll on me. And <clears throat> it's been really hard trying to, whoops, <laughs> trying to get the house um in order the way i like it because you guys know i like my house nice and tidy and clean um it's really been bugging me that it's um not in order the way i want it but it's just i start doing something and i'm instantly tired and i need to sit down or possibly take a nap i've taken a nap for a while there i was taking like two naps a day um now I'm just one one time a day. <laughs> I'm, still, I'm like, I'm so tired of this. I'm tired of like feeling like my days are so wasted. But I guess you got to do what you got to do to heal your body up. Um, <clears throat> anyways, enough with the sob story of being sick. <laughs> Marley, since the last saw you guys, Marley, who's over here on the porch. Marley! Marley got his stitches out. My husband took him to get his stitches out. So his nose is looking good. Still got to let his nose hair grow back in. But he did great. Everything's looking great. Um, I took Magnum yesterday to get uh, blood work done before his dental. And, um, and along with his dental, he's getting a couple little fatty... Um, I guess uh, cysts taken off. Um, that'll be September 12th. 
he'll be getting that done. They called me today and said that his ALTs, uh, this one liver enzyme, was just um, slightly over the high of normal. So I think they said the high number is 118 and his is 127, but they said that ALTs can be slightly high if they have dental disease. So she said, let's get his dental done. Uh, there's no problem with him going under anesthesia uh, with it being that slightly, a little bit high. Um, let's get his dental done and then wait six to eight weeks and retest those liver enzymes and see where we're at after the dental. Um, so, um, and then tomorrow I have to take Mozzie to get a heartworm test and then Thursday, I believe I've got to take Mozzie to the surgical center to get his liver enzymes rechecked. Mozzie! Um, because his one liver enzyme was, I think it was his ALT's too, ALT liver enzyme, um, is, uh, a little bit up too. So if you remember, I had to take him to get his Cushing's test redone. That was fine. So she wants to recheck those liver enzymes. Uh, Thursday, I believe it is. So, uh, yeah, three vet appointments this week. This week, <laughs> like I would have three vet appointments the week after uh, being sick. So, um, yeah. So everybody's been doing good though. Um, everybody's been doing good. Everybody was good while um I was in bed most of the day. I think they were kind of bored because they just lay in bed with me. <laughs> We'd get up, I'd let them out, we'd be outside for a minute, and then we'd come back in and lay back down. So, I think they were kind of getting a little bored there uh, with mom being sick. Do you guys see all the leaves? Look at all the leaves on the ground. Some trees, even though the trees aren't turning color yet, uh, I mean, maybe a teeny bit, the ones that turn yellow, um, they're already starting to... Uh, Drop some leaves, so that means fall's coming. Fall's on its way. But yeah, we had a um, quick storm come through, so I need to pick up all these little branches that fell. I let the dogs out. It was getting dark outside, so I, I said, hey guys, let's hurry up, go outside. Get your business done before it starts raining. So I let them out, and wouldn't you know that right when I let them out, the wind just like came in like out of nowhere. <laughs> And it was just blowing the branches all over. All the dogs ran up except Marley. Marley was standing about over here. And he was just standing kind of with his ears back and kind of hunkered down like he didn't know what to do. And I was yelling for him. I'm like, Marley, get in the house. I thought for sure. I was like, oh my gosh, a big branch is going to break and fall on him. He's just, he's just standing there and just wouldn't move like he was just out of fear because the wind just started howling and blowing so hard. Oh my goodness. He finally came in. Uh... Nothing hit him. Nothing, uh, nothing happened. But I was like, oh, no, I'm going to have to run out there and go get him. Silly dog. <laughs> Silly dog. So I want to thank everyone for their well wishes um, while I've been sick. Um, I need to get to my messages on Facebook and to get to some emails. I've been, I've fallen way behind. So I apologize if you've emailed me and I haven't got back to you or sent me a message on Facebook. Um, I just have not been on my phone. I've not been um, doing any of that. So, uh, but I thank everybody for their well wishes. I do have a couple cards I want to share um, that I got in the mail. I actually went to my PO box today when I was out and about and had a couple cards. I will share those when I go in. Okay, let me get all these little down branches picked up and um, I'll check in in a minute. Okay, I wanted to say thank you to Deb and Sherry for the get well card. Sorry about the boys barking. I don't know what they're barking at. Probably somebody walking by. I also wanted to say thank you to Teresa for this awesome homemade card. She made all the boys here. She said she got a schnauzer die cut. So she made all the boys here on the front. And then on the inside, she made a pop-up schnauzer. Look at that. Isn't that so cute? I just love it. I wish I was that talented at crafting. Love it so much, Teresa. She said she has a um, 
11 year old schnauzer named Emma. And she said, Emma is just like Miggy. She loves playing ball and that she even barks and makes all the noises Miggy does with the ball in her mouth, just like Miggy. So thank you guys so much for the get well cards and thank everyone else again for the messages and the kind um, words that you've left on my Facebook and um, on in messages on Facebook. Thank you guys so much. All right, I'm going to get going. First, I have to show you. Hold on. Let me get my camera, guys. I have to show you guys how Marley is laying in his bed here. Him and Milo lay like this all the time in the little cubbies here on the couch. They always have a leg sticking out. Look at that. <laughs> Why you got one leg hanging out? You're like, Mom, when I always have a leg hanging out under the blankie. Yeah. <laughs> You're so cute. You're so cute. It's so funny looking at Marley with his um, shaved hair on his nose because the hair that they shaved right here where they had to cut his little bump out, it's dark. So usually he has dark hair over this white. So it's so funny to look at him. He looks so different uh, without that dark hair on his nose. Yeah, but Marley and Milo, usually Milo will be in the other cubby. And they'll both have a leg hanging out. It's so funny. Here's Merlin. Here's Merlin. 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 Merlin, where are you? Merlin's doing good. Kitten's doing good. Here's Kitten over here. Kitten likes laying in Dad's chair over here. And here's Milo. Looking out the window, the squirrels have been going crazy in the backyard. They've been going crazy. Um, let me zoom out a little. Whoops. What's going on? Here we go. Um, crazy gathering nuts and burying nuts in the yard for the winter. Look at him. Look at him. He's <laughs> straddling the couch cushion up here. You're so silly. Milo, you watching for squirrels? Yes, you watching for squirrels. <laughs> Milo watches the front yard and Magnum and Mozzie watch, or no, I'm sorry. Milo watches the backyard for squirrels and the other dogs are watching for the front yard for the squirrels. Yes. <laughs> so let's see what the other dogs are doing while we're at it. My house isn't too bad. It's just, it needs a good dusting and the floors need to be cleaned really bad. What were you guys barking at? What were you barking at? Mozzie, I need to groom. I plan on doing that tomorrow. He, his appointment's at two, so I'm planning on grooming him in the morning because he's just, he's a major fluffy butt right now. Yes, you're a major fluffy butt. You need to get groomed. Yes, you do, and get cleaned up. All right, guys, I'm gonna get going. I'm gonna do a little bit of cleaning. I don't even know what time it is. I think it's uh what time is it let's see it's four o'clock already and all I've done I cleaned out here in the kitchen I took off my flip-flops because they always squeak when I'm on the camera let me put them back on I cleaned up the kitchen got the kitchen floor cleaned so I just need to do the rest of the house now so all right, guys, I hope everybody's having a great week, and we'll talk to you guys again in the next video. Bye-bye.